हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ए न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ स्ट्रैट इंडिया द तापस बी एच वन इंडक्शन हैज टेकन ए बैक सीट एज डी आर डी ओ हैज प्रायोरिटाइजेस द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ आर्चर एन जी यू ए बी हुई विल बी सिमिलर टू द इजराइली डेवलप्ड हेरन एम के टू ड्रोन दो द तापस बी एच वन ड्रोन प्रोग्राम इज नॉट ऑफिशियली क्लोज लैक ऑफ एंड्योरेंस एंड एक्सेसिव वेट इश्यूज हैज फोर्स्ड इंडियन प्लानर्स टू डेवलप ए न्यू ड्रोन वेरियंट which can carry weapons in addition to the recon missions initially the roll out of the archer ng had been planned for mid 2023 as stated by officials from the aeronautical development agency however due to some delays in the construction process the schedule was postponed to the first half of 2024 archer ng can operate up to an altitude of 30000 feet and can be used for i star operations the assembly process has already been started and a very aggressive timeline has been planned for its roll out the drdo has introduced a policy on selection of the development com production partner for its development systems which ensures involvement of industries from the beginning of the development cycle and lead to a reduction in the time frame of the development to induction process so archer ng's realization is also through dcpp the archer ng could use up to 70% of the tapas bh components which include medium and long range electro optic systems synthetic aperture radar payloads and electronic intelligence communication intelligence identification of friend and foe tks systems and UCR systems the other components like retractable landing gears and front fuselage will also to be derived from the tapas bh program the archer ng will have twin boom configuration incorporating higher percentage of composite materials for the reduction of weight improved performance and payload capacity the payload of the archer ng will be up to 300 kg it will have four hard points that gives it the flexibility to carry varied combination of weapon systems depending on the requirements to destroy the particular type of targets one of the weapons will be the third generation fire and forget uab launched precision guided anti tank missile having a range of 4 km it is also likely to be armed with 125 kg smart anti air field weapons with a range of 100 km this would enable the archer ng to undertake missions to disable enemy airfields and target enemy critical infrastructure and other ground targets with precision strikes the archer ng is also to be armed with a laser guided rockets and bombs the archer ng could be powered by an ostro 330 ep 177 hp engine that will allow the mail uav to attain a service ceiling of more than 30000 feet reach a speed of 150 knots the engine to be selected would be a heavy fuel diesel engine heavy fuel engines offer a number of benefits to the user such as maintenance requirements are reduced and the fuel offers significant commonality with many other battlefield systems the other engine variants which could be used like combined vehicle research and development developed 180 hp engine which was already tested in tapas bh program or it to be developed 220 hp engine cbrd has partnered with joyem automotives which is a industry leader in heavy fuel aero engine developments to develop a 220 hp diesel turboprop engine for future drone projects the archer ng induction into the indian armed forces will mark a significant milestone in the indigenous defense technology it would not only bolsters the disruptive warfare capability of india but also demonstrated the growing indian capability in cutting edge drone warfare systems thanks for watching our videos if you like this video do not forget to share and subscribe our channel jai hind